On the thirteenth day, the Lord created the combat medic. Let us create a warrior healer, said the Lord. The Lord took his fiercest warrior, the infantry, and put him into a deep sleep. The Lord took part of the heart of the infantry and put this heart into a new creation, the combat medic. The Lord then took the soul of an unborn angel and breathed life into his creation, the combat medic. The Lord said, put the heart of a warrior so the combat medic knows where he came from and who he supports and the soul of an angel with the ability to cure and mend my children when they should have to fight. Soon all sorts of combat medics came forth airborne medics, combat infantry medics, hospital medics, and the flight medics, men and women from all the nations of the earth. The airborne medic with the wrath of a paratrooper and the soul of a healer to care for those who jumped into the sky and to combat. Saint Michael, the archangel, was pleased and chose to become the patron saint of the paratroopers. The infantry medic patrolled alongside some of the fiercest warriors the Lord created, and these warriors were called the infantry medic Doc. The hospital medics tended to the warriors who are wounded in battle at a safe location so their bodies and minds could heal, and this pleased the Lord. The flight medics brought mercy and compassion from the heavens to the earth. The flight medics were given angel's wings so they could help stabilize the wounded, both the friend, foe, and the innocent on the battlefield. The choir of angels in heaven sang out, God bless the combat medics, for they tend to those in battle and bring compassion and humanity, and God's beloved children should have to fight. The Lord looked at his creation, and it was good, the combat medic.